Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com with another update about Homan Square. Now, Josh Owens and I went up there about a week and a half ago, and we did some reporting about the atrocities that have happened up there, the people being detained, not being able to call a lawyer, uh, basically not given any kind of due process, and then essentially released over maybe an 18-hour period to up to three days, we've heard about. Uh, many of the victims that have been taken there have been essentially, they felt like they were kidnapped. These officers come storming in and uh, no-knock raids. They uh, don't wear any kind of uniforms or anything like that, usually uh, all blacked out, um, no name tags, something like that, unmarked vehicles, and essentially go and grab these people and take them and hold them in this facility. Uh, one lady recalls that when she was taken in there, the guy said, you're going to get a tour of hell. And another few gentlemen said that they were uh, punched in the face while their arms were shackled. One man talking about the point that uh, an officer stepped down on his testicles and started moving his foot around like he was uh, trying to put out a cigarette. So there's a lot of atrocities that are happening at this home and square. And there's now a new person who has come forward. And in an article by the Free Thought Project, um, his name is Jose Gonzalez. And he claims that police threatened to inject him with heroin to get him to talk. Now, this guy uh, said he was sitting around at his home with his family in a no-knock raid uh, style. They came busting through the uh, door. They said they had a warrant. Um, they wouldn't allow Jose to look at this warrant. They pushed his pregnant cousin to the ground, and then they pointed their assault rifles at the kids and grandmother who were in the house. This is the kind of thuggery that happens from time to time with these no-knock raids. So Jose was taken into custody, and no drugs are found at the home whatsoever. Uh, they, they take him to Home and Square, and they keep asking him about all these narcotic deals, all this uh, – all this drug um, business th th business that's going on in the area, and he says he has no idea about any of that whatsoever. And uh, turns out that uh, the Jose Gonzalez that they were looking for, because that is a pretty common name, was born in the 1960s. This Jose Gonzalez that they grabbed was only 27 years old, so obviously they had the wrong person. He said that the officers definitely wanted it to seem like people were beaten there, and that the red stuff that he had seen on the floor earlier when he was taken in there was in fact blood. So this man was kidnapped, taken hostage, and the officers threatened to inject him with heroin so he would talk and basically fess up to whatever drug uh, charges that they were looking for and were unable to do so. Now we know that a man, his name was John Hubbard, was allegedly held there and he died from an accidental heroin overdose. Now, knowing how they treat people there, that seems like that would be impossible for him to shoot up while he was being held there because all the people that have been there thus far have been shackled with their hands there, and I doubt these guys aren't going through the pockets and checking. Now that we know that these guys are threatening people to inject them with heroin to get them to fess up to stuff, leads to the fact that maybe this guy was murdered at Home and Square by these uh, undercover agents who are going around kidnapping people on the streets. So there's many questions that don't add up. And it just doesn't make sense that he could have accidentally taken it. Anyone who takes heroin almost instantaneously dies if they have an overdose. I mean, he could have taken them in capsule form and swallowed, but still, once it hit his stomach, that would have all happened instantaneously. And if he were to shoot up, it would have had to happen right there on the scene. So I doubt there's any way that this man would have, when it would have been able to, in any kind of way, sneak in a needle with heroin in it already, uh, you know, in the syringe, and then essentially while he's sitting there, shoot up. So. There's definitely some shady stuff going on. We're going to have to do a lot more digging, and you know, it leads us to think there's probably going to be a lot more of these sites that come to light that we find out about. So stay tuned for more reports at InfoWars.com. I'm Joe Biggs.